We go into the film room for this week's play breakdown presented by Microsoft and we'll start here. And this is one where it felt like Jason Peters said, I'm just going to try anything. I'm just going to throw myself at his legs. And if he doesn't have legs, maybe he can't get to the quarterback. But an interesting alignment here. You have Miles way out in a wide nine, Tack way out in a wide nine. And then you have Jadavian Clowney over the right tackle. And you've got Malik Jackson kind of in between that left tackle and the left guard there. Nobody in the middle of the field for the Browns defense, Joe. Yeah, what this does is it kind of gives the offensive linemen the illusion that they have to widen out to go block the guys that they're responsible for. And a lot of times it can create space inside for the Browns to run some of their twist games or to just penetrate into those gaps, into that space that those offensive linemen have given up as they fan out to go block their guys. And here, this is a great job by the Browns with Miles Garrett getting off the football. You can see the running back trying to help left tackle Jason Peters, but Jason is just hanging on for dear life, trying to get in Miles' way. There's a little bit of a double team. Actually, this could have been a high-low when I saw this in real time. I thought that the referees were going to throw a penalty for going low as the running back was making contact high. But Miles Garrett is just winning with effort. And a lot of times, sacks are more a byproduct of being at the crossroads of the opportunity from the offense and effort. That's exactly what you get here with Miles Garrett. The ball gets held just long enough for Miles to be able to turn the corner, use that great speed an explosion to get Justin Fields around the waist and bring him down to that first energy turf for his very first sack of the game. With the end of the first half, the Browns wanted to get the ball into the end, so they got a huge third down conversion from Baker Mayfield to Donovan Peoples-Jones to kickstart this drive. Remember, it's 3-3 three to three at this point, and the Bears had negative total yards, and so you kind of had that uneasy feeling. We've got to make something happen. Well, you get in the red zone, and the Browns have been phenomenal down there. Baker Mayfield to Austin Hooper and Joe this is a classic cover two beater, and you have to wonder if all that cover two studying they did a week ago for the Houston Texans paid off in a big way right here. Yeah, it definitely paid off right here. Now, in the red zone, the windows are going to get a little bit tighter as the defense has less and less grass to defend. Uh, this touchdown catch with Austin Hooper, the Bears are playing that cover two, like you mentioned, which is stingy down in the red zone, especially because those windows, they're pretty small. One of those windows just like the Browns use here, it's right over the top of the linebacker's head and in front of those safeties. So the ball has to come low and fast in a very small window because if the ball gets lobbed too high over that linebacker's head, the safeties have time to break on the football because their eyes are on the quarterback in this zone coverage. If it's too low, obviously, then the linebacker can make the play. So Baker puts this ball exactly in the perfect spot with the perfect timing. You see Baker get back in his drop. He puts his back foot in the ground and the ball ball comes out with precision and decisively he puts it exactly in that spot where only Austin Hooper can reach out those hands and catch it and then the most important thing is he is able to catch the football with his hands bring the ball into his body and protect himself before contact comes a lot of times you see those quarterbacks they'll throw it too far towards that far safety and then that safety is able to make a hit on the tight end and not all tight ends are good enough to be able to get hit when the ball is still in their hands before they bring it into their body but not Austin Hooper. It doesn't matter. Even if the throw wasn't perfect, Austin's got those great hands, especially in the red zone where he is Mr. Reliable. And in the red zone, the best friend of a quarterback is a tight end with great hands. Great job executing and a great play call from Kevin Stefanski to take advantage of the coverage you expected to see when you get down in the red zone.